Not to beat a dead horse, but I probably will in this video. I again want to stress the difference between a cast and a type conversion. But I'm going to do so using a C-sharp feature called conversion operators. They, and they're essentially methods you can put inside of your class to have it to convert to whatever you want it to. It doesn't really matter. And this would probably go better with the operator overloading playlist, but I think it also makes sense to talk about it here. So I'm going to talk about it here. Let me make a class. I like to drive a scooter to work. And I'll make another class called car. And maybe you drive a car to work or take the bus. Or maybe you're cool like me and you take a scooter. doesn't really matter. I'm going to say scooter. Me scooter gets new scooter. And then I'll say car. Me car gets me scooter. Well, hopefully you're looking at that and saying, hey, that's obviously not going to work, Jamie. A scooter is not a car, nor is a car a scooter, and the compiler is in its good mind to yell at you and say, hey, can it, cannot implicitly convert type scooter to car. That doesn't make sense. All right, both of them inherit objects, so I could, you know, if I wanted to be kind of weird, I could do object there, but that doesn't make sense. I want my scooter to become a car. Right, maybe I'm done being chased all over the road by other people who are texting on their phones. Maybe I want something as safe as a car, as powerful as a car, but it gets the same gas mileage as a car. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Anyway, that's the idea. I want to do this conversion. Now, I could say, hey, a scooter is a car. Right, control shift b the error goes away, but that doesn't make sense. A scooter is not a car. I could make a generalized vehicle class, and both of them could inherit from that, but then that would totally kill the point of the example I'm trying to give you. So let me get rid of that. I, I could say a car is a scooter. Right, a car is a scooter. and So now they're kind of related, but still it's a car is not a scooter, and we'll get the bill error here anyway. I want to be able to convert my scooter to a car, and if I want to convert my car to a scooter, I can be like Batman or maybe Transformers. I can go back and forth all I want to. All right, now let me make the example even more contrived. I'm going to add a data member to both car and scooter, and I'm going to make them public, even though I probably, well, yeah, we can do it as a property. Public int my, is that how you spell mileage? I hope that's how you spell mileage. Get set, control L, control V, control V, paste it in there. Now, ideally, I would have a general base class vehicle like I just showed you and, and put mileage in there, but but just bear with me. Uh, okay, I want to make my scooter into a car and a car into a scooter. Let's write a conversion operator. And the way we do that is by saying public, static, implicit. I could say explicit. I'll get to that in a minute. Operator, operator, car, print. Let's take a scooter, scoot. And we'll do it like that. All right now, we've just written a function or a method. I use the terms interchangeably, sorry. We've written a method. That's all this is. It's a method. It's treated specially by C sharp to get called at certain times. But other than that, it's just another method. I could write a method and say, hey, public static convert me scooter to a car. I could certainly do that and then call this function whenever I wanted to, to convert a scooter to the car. But the C-sharp compiler will give us a little bit of help uh, if we just say, hey, implicit operator. It's syntactical sugar. Please don't get any diabetes. How do I convert this scooter into a car? Notice our method is static, and so we, we get the scooter we're trying to convert right here, and then we need to turn it into a car, and it looks like the only thing we need to do is take the mileage from our scooter and pump it into a car. So let's return a new car, curly... And the mileage will be the mileage of the scooter, like so. Okay, I hope that that makes sense. We've just written a conversion operator. Let me let me uh, go down. I'm gonna control scroll there a little bit. Turn your video quality up to high definition so you can see all this at once. Get down here. Hey, look, the the bill there is gone. All right, car doesn't inherit. Does car does not inherit from scooter, nor does scooter inherit from car. All right, but yet this this works just fine. Control Shift B, build succeeded. Okay, I'm going to hit F10, 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 and F11, and F11 should have stepped into this function. I don't know why it did. Let me start over. Shift F5, F11, 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 F11. It's not working. Hmm. Let me prove to you it's working. I'm going to put a breakpoint here. F11, 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 F11. Ah, there we go. Return a new car. The mileage of the car will be the mileage of the scooter, which is zero, obviously, we're not, we haven't driven ours, it's a brand new scooter, and we're already changing it to a car, whatever, come back out, and then we assign that, me car, 
is referencing an instance of a car that we created right here with new. And enemy scooter is referencing a different object. It's a scooter object, like so. But uh, did you see that? We did a type conversion there. And in the process of doing the type conversion, we had to do some work. All right? It's, it's like we casted the mold in metal shop in high school, like I was talking about in the previous video. We had to do some work. Yes, there was some runtime costs, so on and so forth. But there you go. Now let me talk about the implicit. Implicit means, hey, it's implied. Feel free to convert a scooter to a car. Don't worry about it. All right. But if I come around, I say, hey, this is explicit. All right. Now we got the red squiggly. You see the red squiggly saying, hey, um, I cannot implicitly convert a scooter to a car. An explicit conversion exists. Are you missing a cast? <laughs> so now I do a cast. I have to do a cast. Control Shift B. It doesn't build. So allow me to do the cast to a car explicitly, and then all of a sudden the build there is gone. And the only reason why I had to do the cast is because up here I demanded. It. I said, "Hey, yeah, that conversion can happen. Just make sure that whoever tries to do that conversion." knows there could be some data loss, but there's really no data loss going on in here, so it's actually fine to say implicit. But it's up to me as the programmer or the developer of this conversion operator to decide, should this be explicit or implicit? If there's going to be some data loss, let's make it explicit. But if it's fine, it's a clean conversion, feel free to make it implicit. All right, but this is, this is a, literally a type conversion. All right, there's work here. We have to do this work to convert a scooter to a car. But if I come around here and I say, you know what? Object O gets me scooter. Well, that's a reference conversion, but there's no work being done. It's just, hey, compiler, look at whatever scooter is referencing. That address, out and around, just copy it into what O represents onto the stack. Okay? Anyway, I hope the horse isn't too dead or too beaten or whatever. Moving on.